Okay, I went to the Dollar General and I bought a couple of scarves and I wanted to try them out and see if they would work for dolls. Well, I got this one here and I got this red and white one I thought was kind of pretty. But Dollar General and it says on the instructions, do not iron. Well, when you get them, they're all in a ball and they're all wrinkled. So um, it says it's 100% polyester on the tag. So I've been um, ironing them with a setting on my iron that's just right below nylon. So um, stay out of the really hot settings and go right to a nylon. If you've ever tried to cut chiffon or this um, really, um, really fine, um, this is the stuff you can get at Walmart for a dollar a piece too. I don't know what they call it. It's that, um, it's like a rayon poly, but it's all poly. If it's at Walmart, it's probably poly, but it's this really thin stuff. So um, what I did is I tried making one, but I made it too small for um, this doll. Let me show you this. Oops, let's make sure you can see in the camera. I um, made it too big for the, too small for the 18 inch dolls. And that's, um, if she had on the right outfit, um, that's kind of cute, you know? If I had on a white and pink outfit with this kind of pink scarf, infinity scarf, it might be okay. This one was the first one I tried. And this was, um, I only cut this one 22 inches by an inch and a half, and that might be a little too wide. But that was my first attempt from the scarf. But what you do is you really do have to set your, um, you have to have your settings right on your surgery machine to sew these. And this is a good place to use your fray check because you can fray check your ends on this when you're done and so they don't, um, don't, um, you know, unravel. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's so hard to cut this kind of fabric. It's almost impossible. So what I did is I went and I got my handy dandy freezer paper and I cut myself um, an inch and a half by 24 inches long. And that's how I'm going to um, cut out my uh, fabric. So let's start with um, one of the scarves, since I've already cut this. One thing about these scarves, if you are going to use the Dollar General scarves, you only have to cut, um, you can use the one that's already finished as your end. So when you go to sew, uh, iron on your um, you can try cutting it by yourself, but it's really, really hard. So go ahead and put your, um, let me make sure you're in the screen here. Yeah, there you are. Okay. So you got your iron set just before, just underneath nylon. Okay, so it's like almost, um, you can touch it with your hand almost because it's not that hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on the edge. Um, and uh, go ahead and iron up for the whole length of your paper. Okay, we're going to use the cutter on our serge machine, on our serger, so we don't have to worry about being exactly accurate. So um, let's um, keep going on here. And if, if you have to go a little bit hotter on your iron, you can. It's not the end of the world. Okay, if it's not going to stick on you, you may have to go a little hotter. Go all the way up to nylon. Because you got to get that um, plastic coating on this paper hot enough to stick. If you don't get it to stick, there's no sense using it because it's just going to pop right off. So let's try this again. Okay, my husband just made me a new bird feeder um, for the yard. He took one of those old metal lamps that you get at the thrift stores, and he took the the um, the uh, you know the place where you uh, put the socket in the light, and then he um, got an old. Oh, it's like a little tin can, like almost a pie, pie tin, and he's going to put that on the top and then spray paint the whole thing for a um, 
new bird feeder for the yard. I've been making my own suet out there and oh my goodness, I'm getting birds like crazy. I'm getting birds I've never seen before. I've got red-headed woodpeckers, I've got starlings, I've got, oh my goodness, it's just coming in droves. I've been putting peanut butter and um, that um, animal fat um, uh, shortening that you can buy in the big can. And then I've been putting in the bird seed, the sunflower seeds. Um, what else have I added? Sometimes raisins. Sometimes I'll throw in some cranberries. Uh, my husband says they are feeding the birds better than I'm feeding him. But um, that didn't quite come out right. Okay. Well, you get the idea. I might have had to go a little bit higher on the... Um, but that's the uh, Dollar General uh, scarf. And same thing you would do with the chiffon. Chiffon is almost impossible to cut. I mean, it is just a nightmare trying to use your rotary cutter and your um, uh, ruler over there. Let's see if I can get a 24-incher here. 22-incher on this one. I don't even know where I got this. I think I got this at a... Um, Mm, gosh, where did I get this? Probably um, <clears throat> um, at an estate sale, maybe. I'm not sure where I got it, but let's take this one and um, cut this one. That's one nice thing about this. Boy, this is really cut badly. That's what I mean about this stuff. You just It's almost impossible to cut evenly. Let's see if I can cut it this way. Let's see if we'll go this way. Let's see if we can get 22 inches out of this one. Yeah, see, somebody tried to cut this and uh, it wasn't me. As you can see how out of whack it is. It's just almost impossible. Okay. Let's try this one and see how it works. Okay. So that's chiffon. Let me just cut up here and then I'll cut down. Then we can use this as a sampler piece as what we're going to cut our scarf. I tried um, using this in the middle of a go day. Um, if you go to the internet and you look up Godet skirts, some of the uh, Godet skirts have um, chiffon in them. Not chiffon. Yeah, I guess it is chiffon. But they're also cut in um, squares. Instead of doing the quarter circle, they have it, have it squared out with them. Um, and I think that looks really pretty too. So, but, um, okay, close enough. We can fix that. Okay. okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, cut here. I need to, I need to press that again. I'm trying to speed this up. But this is the chiffon. It's a little thinner than um, I think the crepe is a little bit thicker than the chiffon. I could be wrong about that. I so rarely sew with it. Actually, probably never. Probably like the first time, maybe. Okay, so this is the easy way to see if we got any messes on this side. Yeah, there's another one. Alright, so now we've got the chiffon. So that's going to be our chiffon start. Okay, so there's that one. Alright, so um, let me put my ironing away. Okay, I'm only going to sew a couple so you can see what, how to do it yourself. Um, what I found out is you have to keep um, practicing on your stitches. You have to take some sample fabric and keep figuring out where um, it'll look nice and oh sorry I just hit the thing you okay still in there all right you have to test your fabric and make sure that um, let me see if I have a piece
piece of fabric. Here's a piece of strap fab. This is a piece of that um, chiffon that I uh, cut off on the last piece. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at one, two, and five. And I've got all of my, I've only got my um, right needle on and I've got my uh, tensions right now at three, three, three. I've got my stitch finger removed. We're not using it on this um, scarf stitch. So let's see how we're doing on our settings. So um, I'm still got a lot of static electricity in here, so hopefully it'll work. So let me see if I can get close. I've got my cutter up so that I can um, get a nice clean strip on this. Let's see how it sews now on this. Pull my presser for my control here for closer. Look and see how that did on um, on that um, strip of chiffon. So this is where you can check to see. Do you want to see if you can make this narrower? What I found out though is when you got really thin fabric like this, if you try and make your edging too close to the edge, it's just going to do this to you every single time. It's just going to come right off. So on this, um, especially this. Uh, these um, Dollar General scarves, you really do have to um, use a wider stitch, otherwise you're going to end up with that uh, every single time. That's, you know, but this is better quality fabric, of course, so um, you're not going to get that on the chiffon. So you're better off, instead of buying the, the Dollar General store, go to the, to the Walmart or uh, fabric store and just buy uh, you know, a quarter yard of um, specialty um, fabric like this, and you'll have better luck on making your scarves. Okay, so um, anyway, here's here's I'll, I'll I'll make this one up anyway. This is I this is the one we cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through on the one side. Now this is a different fabric, so I'm not even sure if this is going to work on this one or not. Let's try it. pretty good. It's not exactly the same as the other side, but close enough. check is going to come in nicely too so you can put a dab of, of, of um, fray check on your um, uh, ends here so they don't uh, come off and then there's that and there you go okay so now we've got one side done so you, what you can do is cut these off and we're going to do the same thing we're going to make our tur turn and here oh, that's just a piece of scrap we're going to make our turn, so turn it once, and we're going to sew our ends together. And you don't want to put any needles through your machine, so let's just put one here on the edge. And then we can go ahead and run that through. Spray check this and then I'll cut these ends off after it dries and that's our first um, scarf. So let's see how this one looks on this doll. I think I said 24 inches. I think these are actually 22 inches. So you may want to go with a, um, just 22 inches on these scarves. 22 by an inch and a half or you know whatever you feel like is going to look the best on your doll. 
This doll is um, our generation. I bought her at a thrift store for a couple dollars. I haven't even cleaned her up that well yet. But um, there's the scarf we just made. And uh, it does look kind of cute. And you can get a lot of scarves out of those dollar out of those dollar scarves. But um, I still say you're better off using a little bit better quality um, fabric. So let's go ahead and try this one. This is the chiffon. Also, your um, there's a rolled hem you can use with your blind foot. I haven't tried it yet, but um, that's another option on these um, doll scarves. So um, that one's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see, let's see if you can see close up. I probably could have gone a little narrower on this one, but it's okay. Let's try the other side. Get some of this dust out of the way. static electricity. Way too much static electricity in here. Okay, so let's just sew that. Okay, so we'll just put some fray check on that one. Before we cut it all the way to the ends, we've got our one. Uh, fold in it, one fold. We should have sewn that better. I'll sew that better. And then <clears throat> let's try this one on. Maybe I should have gone a little bigger on this one. chiffon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's the chiffon one. And it hangs nicely. It actually does hang nicely. They hang so much nicer than um, uh, they hang so much nicer than the crocheted and embroidered ones. So, so chiffon, the narrow hem stitch, not the narrow hem stitch, the rolled hem stitch, or the narrow hem stitch, whichever one they call it. I think they call it both in the book, vice versa. But um, how cute is that? And it's soft. It looks good on both sides. Let's try something 
on the rear. So there you go. Right, you could even go longer on this one. This was 22 and an inch and a half. You might even want to go longer. You can even wrap three times if you want to. There's just so many things you can do. But um, it seems to me the fabric, the soft chiffon, works best on these doll scarves, these infinity scarves. They just look cute. They look cute. They do look cute. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.